Welcome back guys. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about two things. The first one will be if else statement and the second one would be operators. So let's start. So as you can see, we have sublime text open on our laptop. We are right clicking new file and we are saving it as if underscore demo dot php. Okay. So let's create a php tag. Now over here, suppose I have a number variable in which I have stored 65. Okay. So now um, instead let's take it to be 18 and let's name the variable to be age. Save. Now what we want to do is according to the viewer's age, we want to take or we want to show him a particular thing if it's greater than 18. If it's less than 18, we'll uh, display an error message. Okay. So uh, this sort of thing is used or handled using if else statement. Okay. So if else statement in programming is basically this way of creating logical branches uh, during the execution of the program. So you will either go in one direction or the other direction. You can't go to both the directions. So uh, this is how branching is created using a pro in a program. Okay. So let's create. Uh, this is how you write the if statement if in the bracket you will write the condition so the condition would be like this if dollar age is greater than 18 curly braces you want to echo out you are eligible to view the content semicolon and the other thing is else and you want to print out echo you are too young like this so uh, instead let's keep the age to be 23 and let's save it now you can easily see if the age is 23 then the condition this condition will be true hence the code will get into this particular branch and execute this line of code and it will not enter this branch okay so if i go to the page and if i name my file that is if underscore demo dot php if underscore demo dot php and press enter now it says you are eligible to view the content okay but what will happen if i'll write 13 and save and now when you will reload it says you are too young okay there is one more thing what if you have more than two conditions in that case what will happen is uh, you can use something called an else if and you in the else if you again provide a condition so dollar age if it's equal to equal to 15 then you want to print out you can view the content after three years so now I want to have these three logical conditions. So if he is um, less than 18, but is equal to 15, I want to print out, you can view the content after three years. And now let's set up this to be 15. Let's save it and let's reload. It says you can view the content after three years and in all the other conditions, it will work as it is. Okay, you are eligible to be the content. So this is how if else if else statements work in PHP. Okay, so now let's create one more file and let's save it as op demo stands for operator demo dot PHP. Okay, PHP. In this particular uh, section of the video, we are going to learn about four kinds of operator. The first one is assignment the second is comparison the third is arithmetic and the fourth one is logical let's quickly uh, go through all of these operators so the first one is assignment operator so uh, assignment operator is basically a very simple operator which is this over here this equal to is called as the assignment operator you are basically uh, assigning a value to the dollar age variable so this is how you assign value okay 
so this is the most basic kind of assignment operator there are a few other uh, assignment operators let's quickly see them uh, suppose we have a variable called number is equal to 10 okay now what i want is i want to do this dollar number plus plus and now if i print echo dollar number let's save it and let's rename the file to op demo and press enter now as you can see it says 11 okay so basically this plus plus does what it adds one to the existing value so what will this do if we'll put a minus minus yes you expected uh, you predicted the right value it will be 9 okay now uh, it can also be done like this dollar number is equal to dollar number plus 1 you can also do this now the new value of dollar number is the existing value of dollar number plus 1 so now if you will save again it's 11 okay so this is how uh, you increase the value of a number okay i personally prefer this plus plus thing saves me a few lines of a few words of code okay this is the simplest way of doing it there's one more thing what will happen if i write something like this plus equal to two let's see what will happen save reload guessed it right whenever you do it like this what will happen is it will automatically do number plus two if you will do minus it will do number minus two if you will multiply let's see what will happen save reload and as you can see 10 multiplied by 2 is 20 you can also do division and the number should be 5 great you can also do the modulus uh, modulus is basically the reminder so if you divide 2 by 10 or rather 10 by 2 the reminder should be 0 okay so this is one more assignment operator one last one that i would like to uh, explain is this dollar text is equal to hello and now you can also write something like this is equal to space world and let's print out dollar text first let's comment this out let's save it and now let's print out and as you can see it will just print out hello but what will happen if we'll uh, remove the comment save it and now reload and as you can see this particular operator is very similar to concatenation so in a way you are doing something like this like this okay so it's basically same so this was all about assignment operators so it's uh, done let's move on to the next operator that is comparison operator so uh, comparison operators are basically greater than equal to less than equal to okay so suppose uh, we have already done that example uh, what we are doing is uh, let's take number one uh, is equal to 56 dollar number two is equal to 65 and now we are printing out echo dollar number two greater than dollar number one let's see what will be the output save reload it says one one means true so as you can easily see the value of number two is greater than value of number three what will happen if i write only five in number two let's save it let's reload okay maybe because it's false it didn't come up okay so anyways uh, let's do it with the help of if else uh, you can write if dollar number is greater than dollar number two is greater than dollar number one you want to echo out number two is greater else echo number one is greater semicolon so let's save it and as you have expected uh, the answer should be number one is greater okay so uh, basically there are three four kinds of uh, comparison operators less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to and double equal to 
so uh, double equal to is basically if you want to check if both the numbers are equal which is like this okay let's remove this let's save and let's print out both numbers are equal equal both numbers are different okay let's save it and as expected it should say both numbers are different okay so this is how you actually use comparison operators okay now uh, let's move on to arithmetic operators uh, arithmetic operators are very simple either plus minus multiplication division and modulus so we have already covered that in assignment operators so i don't think there is a requirement of doing it again okay uh, you can try your code at your home uh, now we are moving on to the next operator that is logical operator so let's create simple uh, example for the logical operators suppose dollar first now is equal to 24 dollar second num is equal to 100 now i want to check if the number first number is less than 30 and the second number is greater than 100 so what i can do is i can write it like this if dollar first num is greater than 30 and this is how you put an and condition dollar second num is greater than 100 then you'll print out correct else you will print out incorrect okay so now let's save it and let's reload and it says incorrect because actually both the conditions are false right uh, the first num is 24 which is less than 30 so this condition is false so even if this condition is true it has to be into this loop let's make this to be 34 and this this to be 120 or 102 let's save it and let's reload okay first num is greater than 30 and the second num is then why is it printing incorrect okay so if the first num is greater than 30 which is 1 and the second num is greater than okay i'm really sorry you have to just keep it to 100 and you have to increase the value of this particular thing and now if you will save and reload it says correct okay now uh, there is one more operator that is or operator so suppose the number is the second number is 90 okay so now this condition is true but this one is false but since you are using an or what will happen is the condition will still remain true or correct let's save it and it says correct but if you remove this one too to below 30 and save it and now reload now it's again incorrect okay so this is uh, a basic example of uh, logical operators okay we are going to use them a lot in our tutorials so even if you're not getting the point of using all these operators uh, just don't worry okay uh, we are going to use them a lot now uh, everything uh, is done except one small thing that is the triple equal to operator so what is this triple equal to operator let's take a variable a and let's store a value of one let's take a variable b and let's store a value of string one now let's print out if dollar a is equal to dollar dollar b if both are equal let's print out equal else we are going to print out not equal same so what do you think what should be the output it says equal which is quite surprising because this is one number and this is a string but in php the server or the interpreter actually takes the absolute value of the variable and compares it so what if you want to compare the types to in that case instead of using this double equal to you are going to use a triple equal to. let's save it 
and now it says not equal to okay so whenever there is a need uh, that you want to compare the type of the variables to you have to use a triple equal to and in every other case double equal to will do the work 